How long do you guys think it takes to build confidence when you're new in a role? <laughs> I mean, it all depends Just on don't honestly. get cocky. Uh, I yeah. think it's all depending on the person, really. Yeah. Like, you know, that's a personality trait. That I mean, that goes a little deeper than just in a general sense. Like, if you're someone who tends to get cocky, then it's going to be very quick. Yeah. If you're someone who's more introverted, then yeah. then it's going to be so. It's going to take a while. Like, I, I, there's some EMTs that I work with, some nurses I work with who've been working there now. In their minds, I'm sure they still consider themselves brand new, but they've been there for at least two years, and I rely on them heavily. They're some of the ones I trust the most, but. I can see that they don't trust themselves the most, even though they, they just don't see what I, they, I see. Right. And so how would you advise somebody to build confidence then? Try. Yeah. Jump in. Like, you know, yeah. like the only way to be comfortable is being uncomfortable mm-hmm. in those, like any, any situation. Yep, that's a good point. You yeah, know, it's, it's practice. You practice. Practice it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Always jump in. Always keep wanting to learn. I feel like the day you, Quit learning is the day you need to get out of medicine because yeah. jumping, like jump in, just keep swimming because you're going to make mistakes. But I promise through those mistakes, you will really learn. Like all of my best learning times have been when I have made mistakes. Yeah. So just know you're going to make mistakes. Yeah. It's going to be OK. And perfect. constantly just jump in and do something. Yeah. Don't Admit, just stand there. Yeah. Don't be afraid of making those mm-hmm. mistakes because mis- everyone looks at like, oh, I failed at this. I'm like, no, you didn't fail. Mm-hmm. You made a mistake. There's there's a difference between failure and mistakes. A mistake mm-hmm. is something that you learn from. Failure is giving up, yeah. right? When you, when you make enough mistakes and you say, okay, I'm done, that's failure. When you say I'm done learning and I'm done progressing, that's failure. When you keep making mistakes, but you keep progressing, it's just a mistake. You haven't failed at anything yet. Mm-hmm. Keep keep driving. Yeah. Everything you hear today from myself and my guests is opinion only and doesn't represent any organizations or companies that any of us are affiliated with. The stories you hear have been modified to protect patient privacy and any resemblance to real individuals is coincidental. This is for educational and entertainment purposes only and should not be taken as medical advice nor used to diagnose any medical or healthcare conditions. Best thing you can take from that mistake is learning from that mistake. Mm-hmm. Whether that's somebody critiquing you on how you did it, don't take critiques as a bad thing. Yeah, no. They're you giving, they're seeing you. You're only seeing what's in front of you. They're mm-hmm. seeing all of you. So take that critique and grow from that. And next time you do that same thing, think about that critique. Think about what went wrong, what you did wrong and try not to do it. That's the best way to grow. And that's how you'll build that confidence with it. Cause I was extremely unconfident when I entered yeah, the ED. I remember. Sam was there. I entered the ED two years on the ambulance. I entered the ED. I was so unconfident. I'm like, I don't know. And, it's a, oh, and, yeah. hey, and to, to you both, cause I was both in your shoes. I, w- I was an EMT in the field first before I stepped into the fi- into the ER. It's a different game. Yeah. Like, I was in the field for three years before I jumped into the ER and it's, <clears throat> It's a, it's just different. It's the, the processes are different. The things you're learning are different. The, cur- the learning curve is way different. It, it really is. You may come in with experience, but man, it doesn't prep you for like the understanding, like, okay, here's your labs. You know, here's what's important here. Here's how we're going to draw this. This is why cultures are important. This is why, yeah. you know, it's, you know, a lot of EMS who are listening, they're probably like, yeah, well, in the hospital, they just, all of our lines are dirty, so they don't use them. No, that's not true at all. We love using IVs that are in the hospital, that are starting out of hospital. It's just specifically those cultures. That's, that's it. I mean, I, I will use an EMS line every day, except when it comes to a culture, because I have to. And it's, like it's, I don't know. You learn these little things that are just way different. Splinting, splinting is way different. You think yeah. you know splinting until you jump into the ER, and it's, it's like all of a sudden it's not splint to keep it in place until you travel for five minutes. It's now this person's got to either go home with this for the next two weeks and follow up. So you're you're considered a pressure sores, pressure injuries, compartment syndrome, like all these different things. You know, splinting the right spot. So the right bones are in line still. Like, you know, are you, you know, what traction are you keeping still? These are all concepts that get lost and you don't have to pay attention to that when you're in the field. You may have splinted a hundred times, but mm. you haven't splinted until you've splinted into the ER because it's just a different My splints mindset. in the field were... That's literally how I felt. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> it's the same split in some tape sometimes. Yeah. It's just hold it in place and move. A yeah. pillow. Yeah. 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 One. <laughs> a blanket. Yeah, you don't have a cervical collar you wrap it around. <laughs> it's it's blankets, yeah. I had to. <laughs> you blanket hey, around. It makes, 
It works, it, man. It changed my mind. No, yeah, I mean, like, you I think. Go ahead. No, I was just to say you haven't. It's not a cervical collar until you've used a Sam splint as your cervical. <laughs> <laughs> use a BP cuff. Yeah. <laughs>